Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set an MP3 song as a notification sound on your Samsung Galaxy S20 series, uh, the Plus or the Ultra. Now, first, let's tap on the home key to take you back to your home screen. Then, you first need to also have an MP3 song already on your phone. You can do that by simply uh, plugging your phone to the computer to copy it over. Or you can go online and download it from the web browser. Once it is uh, downloaded, what we want to do is uh, go into the app screen and tap on the Samsung folder. Then tap on my file. And in here, we want to go to the location where it has the file. So in my case, I'll go to internal storage. Now you can also tap on audio up here, tap on audio, and then tap on music. Now you can see there's an mp3 song file up here. This is just one way to quickly find a file. This uh, music folder basically filter out all the um, music files into one location, helps you easily um, locate the file. The other way is to uh, manually navigate to the folder. So I'm going to go into internal storage, uh, tap on music, and this is where I have my song. So retrograde, that's where I left it. So there's just uh, different ways how you can locate the files. Once you have located the files, so in music, and then tap and hold onto the file, and then tap on copy. You can either copy or move. I'm going to choose copy. And then what we want to do is tap on the back key here, and we want to copy to the notifications folder. And then tap on copy here. And now the file has been copied to the notifications folder. Now, if you go into your settings, so swipe down and tap on settings and then tap on notifications. So if you tap on sounds and vibrations and then tap on notification sound and then tap on SIM1 or SIM2. So uh, say we want to set the notification sound for SIM1. I'm going to go down here and look for the songs that I have just placed in the folder. So you can see at the top, it shows custom. So custom is what I have manually put in the folder and now I can choose that song. That's real nice, right? Okay, so now if I go back into the folder, just to prove it to you, if I remove the songs or if I delete it from the folder, you can see I've gone to the trash now. And if I go back here into notification folder, you can see now it's gone, it's no longer available as an option for me to select. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.